A big hi to everyone tuning in. Thanks for joining me. I'm Glennie D. And this week is week nine. We are looking at some tips and tricks to recognize and to fix your cubes. We're doing some more practice all this week on cubes. Cubes and cylinders are so important. It's the bread and butter of a designer. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to give you three awesome tips to help you progress into an amazing cube drawer. If your cubes are not looking exactly as you'd like them, then these three tips will really help you. This one is drawn more or less correctly, but there's a little something wrong with this one. Can you spot what it is? These three tips will help you. Let's get started on day one. Tip one, check that all three faces are identical or the same diamond shapes. Here's one diamond, two, three. Notice they're all exactly the same shape. It's just that I've rotated them around into these positions and bring them together and boom, you've got an isometric cube. So my first tip is to look and see if all of the three faces are the same diamond shape. Your task today is to find and circle all of the cubes that you think are not drawn correctly. Hey, let's check the first few together and then I'll leave you to complete the rest. All right, so having a look at the very first cube, I would think that all of these three diamonds are fairly much the same shape. So that one we'll call correctly drawn. Let's move on to the next one. These two look fairly much the same. However, this one on top is definitely not a match. So we'll circle that one. Moving on, this diamond and this diamond aren't a very, or certainly don't match that one. They're all different. So let's circle that one. And the last one in a row, uh, this diamond does not match this diamond. So the chances are this one is incorrect as well. Continue on and then I'll show you what I came up with. Good luck. Here's what I thought. I wonder how many cubes you thought were drawn correctly. So remember, tip one is to check that all three faces are the same diamond shape. Okay, that's it for today. I will see all of you tomorrow for some more Five for Design. See you then. Hi, nice to see you again. Today we're giving you another tip on how to improve your cubes. Looking back, last lesson, tip number one was to look for even diamond shapes in all of the faces. Today is tip number two. Tip two, check the bird's foot angles are drawn correctly. Very good advice. Here's a bird's foot. It's the first thing we draw when we begin a new cube. So even though your cubes will look amazing on any of these angles, Let's drill down and have a close look at what the angles actually are on a bird's foot. This line represents the horizon or a flat line. And this angle is 30 degrees. Sometimes you could use one of those plastic set squares in order to draw that line on the right angle. Here's how it looks using the splat 3D drawing tool to begin your bird's foot. It's an easy method. So pause the video and carefully cut the corner off the page and then very neatly cut the bird's foot template out all the way around here, much neater than I've just drawn it. Uh, when you've done that, um, press play and then together we will complete this exercise. See you soon. Great, good job. So let's place the template underneath this one and we will see that this line and this edge do not meet up at all. So that one is totally the wrong angle. Let's circle that one. I'd like you to work your way along now, checking all of these other cubes 
and circle the ones that do not look correct or do not line up to this bird's foot angle. All right, good luck. That's it for today, guys. I will see you for day three. Bye now. Hi, let's jump straight into day three, where we're looking for ways to improve your drawing of cubes. But first, a look back at last lesson, tip two. Make sure that your bird's foot is around about the right angle. Here's my next top tip, number three. Each set of colored lines should be parallel. Have a look at the red lines, for example. All of these lines are parallel. What is parallel? If two lines don't touch each other, no matter how long you extend them, just like railway tracks, then we call those parallel lines. Sometimes two lines have a mark like that, and that means that they're parallel. We can see the green lines here are all parallel, or at least they should be, and on isometric drawings, we can call them partner lines. Can you see any other partner lines? Right, blue lines in, I think we called it the Z direction, are also partner lines. And now over to you for an exercise. We have the bird's foot here as a reference. I'd like you to find any lines that aren't parallel in a set of three. So look for partner lines that are not parallel and trace over them. This cube looks pretty good. All of the lines look parallel. In this cube, I can see that line, the vertical lines are definitely not parallel. If you're not sure, draw them a bit longer, extend them, and you can clearly see they're not parallel. How about this cube? I think these ones are good. These vertical ones are good, but this one is not parallel and should be. Shall we try another one? Uh, let's have a look at this cube. I think these ones are good. These three look pretty good. And these three look pretty good. But something, so they're actually all parallel, which, which is right. But something's wrong. And I think the problem would be with my previous tip, step two. This bird's foot doesn't match the correct angle. That's what's making that one look uh, a little wonky, but we'll leave that one and go on. This one, can you see the problem? These lines look a little out of parallel. And these ones, one, two, three, are way out of parallel. So let's trace over those ones. Pause the video now and have a go yourself at finding any sets of parallel lines, partner lines, that aren't parallel. Check back with me in a minute and I'll see what I can find as well. Good luck, see you soon. How did you guys go with that exercise? Well, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, have fun, bye. Hi, Glenny D. So nice to see you again. It's day four. Is everybody ready? Last lesson, we learned about drawing with parallel lines. We called them partner lines in drawings. And today, lesson four, day four, we are going to put it all together and draw a whole page full of cubes. But before you get started, draw your guidelines very lightly. Here's a warm up. Find a piece of paper and draw some long straight lines for me. Try to make them a little bit lighter now. I'm sure if you press a little lighter, you can go even thinner. Good, until your lines almost start to disappear. These are too dark for guidelines. These ones are too light. They're almost disappearing. Probably these ones are good. I'll go just a little darker for you guys at home so that you can see my drawings on the screen. Let's get started. So what I'd like you to do is to completely fill your page and have so much fun drawing lots of cubes. If yours 
go a bit wrong, that's fine. You've got three tips now on what to look for to try to correct your cubes. You can overlap your cubes as well. Overlapping is a great way to make one object stand out from the other one. Draw as many guidelines as you need, and we don't rub our guidelines out. They're our thinking lines. It's like thinking on paper. Because when we're finished, we choose the lines that we want to darken into, or firm in. So draw as many and as fast as you can. Just take care when you're darkening in the final outline. Hey, keep your drawings from today. We'll be using those tomorrow for our Fun Friday Challenge. Thanks guys, see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, it's day five of week nine and that means it's time for the Fun Challenge. Here's what we're doing today. We'll be taking yesterday's cube or two cubes, adding some color, then cutting them out. Next, we'll have a large sheet of cardboard or paper and everyone will arrange their cubes onto the paper. You don't need to glue them down if you want to be able to then take them off and stick them back into your books. But if you do want to glue them down, feel free. That way we can take our beautiful montage and we can snap a photo and use that for your social media, for your school newsletter, for school bag, whatever. So let's go backwards to yesterday's lesson and take one of our cubes and add some color. It's easy to color it first before you cut it out. Let's try another cube. First step is we lightly color with pencil the whole cube. Then we're going to choose this face here and go over it a second time. Let's color this one yellow. Yellow is difficult because it's hard to get a darker yellow in my final face. And now it's time to bring it all together. With teamwork, we should have lots and lots of cubes to assemble into a massive, colorful, fun looking montage. Why not ask your teacher to photograph it and email a copy into myself and Miss B. Yay, we'd love to see what you've done. Thanks guys, have a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.